Welcome back, everyone. This is Christy Walters with the Why and the Buy podcast. I am coming to you for your weekly Monday musing, just a few minutes of something that's on our mind and something actionable that you can take into your week this week. And so I want to talk to you this week about the concept of quality and quantity. I recently listened to a podcast by Jordan Harbinger with The Art of Charm, uh, one of my favorite podcasts, by the way, one of the best interviewers in the industry, in my opinion. And he did an episode on if, you, if quality is what you want, then you have to focus on quantity. Now, this really caught my eye because I have been focused on trying to do a lot more writing. As you know, I started the podcast with Jeff because I didn't love writing and I wanted to get some content out there. I wanted to have an opportunity for people who didn't know me to get to know me. And uh, I still, a year later, the podcast is doing a phenomenal job of getting some content out there for me, but I need to really step up my game when it comes to writing. So I started a process this year where I write 100 words a day, and that's important for me because 100 words is really not that much. If you think about it, you can really do it in bullet point posts. You don't have to do a whole lot of uh, thought process around it. It's not something I'm posting out for the world to see. It's really just 100 words on whatever it is I'm thinking about that day. And there's no judgment, there's no stake in the outcome. I fail a lot, Uh, I fail early, and thankfully I'll be able to fail forward because I'm actually just getting my thoughts out on paper. The other thing I did is I actually established a, a, um, a process of posting one post or blog post per week. And so you, I introduced you to my uh, question of the week uh, a couple of weeks ago on a Monday musing. And that gives me a little bit of structure so that my, my post doesn't have, it doesn't have to be something that I sit and ponder and uh, it has a life changing effect on, on everyone. It just becomes that question of the week and what do I think about that question and it also helps to frame those 100 words that I write every day. So I want to go back to this concept of quantity and quality. So one of the things that Jordan said in his uh, episode um, was that quantity is the road to quality. Too often, and I count myself in this squarely in this uh, field, too often we think we have to know it all and it has to look perfect for it to be consumed by the world. And your world can be small, meaning that it's just an email that you're writing for a group of people at work, or if it's a book that you're writing for millions of people that might read it across the globe, it's still a matter of perfection and we are paralyzed by perfection every day and this need to know it all this the belief that if we put anything out there in the world that it has to have this mark of uh of of uh, perfection is the best way to describe it i can't think of a better word it really isn't necessary and you know i hate to point to the the industry today, especially when it comes to to social selling and social media, there are plenty of prognosticators out there who actually don't have experience in selling, but they, they are confident enough to put out information or their perspective on how to approach a particular topic. It doesn't mean that they're the expert. It just means that they were willing to put it out there. So my question for you is what could you commit to doing every day that would actually move you down the road to mastery in a particular skill? Do you want to learn how to play guitar? Is that that you spend 15 minutes a day actually learning, learning notes or strumming the guitar or, um, or researching whatever it is that will actually move you down the road to mastery. Just do a little bit of it every single day and see what happens. I'd love to hear back from you guys on what you're choosing to work on in this particular, uh, topic. I'm 
primarily focused on writing. Uh, and my 100 words a day is my minimally required effort, and I'm going to stick with that. And again, I'm going to fail early, fail often, and fail forward. And I think that if you can, you cannot get to mastery if you do not produce a huge amount of work. So that's it for my Monday musing this week, guys. Think about your quantity versus your quality. And are there some areas where you could introduce a whole lot of quantity of work that will move you further down the road to mastering a particular skill? We would love to hear back from you on what you're using from our Monday musing. Are you finding this this helpful? Are there certain topics that you would love for us to tackle? Uh, we want to engage with you. As you know, this, this year we are introducing a whole lot of new uh, ways to engage with us, including our live book club, which will be coming up here in a couple of weeks. If you want to learn more about that, go to the why and the buy.com and you can click on both the newsletter registration link and the uh, book club registration link. That will give you an opportunity to become a part of our community. And more importantly, we are only here because you guys are listening. So if you're listening, you want to hear something else, uh, you want us to tackle a particular topic, you want us to bring on a particular guest, that's what we're looking for from you guys. So uh, in, engage with us, connect with us on social media, go out, register for the newsletter, register for the book club, and I can't wait to see some of you guys in, uh, in a couple of weeks on our live book club discussion. That's it for me. Thank you so much, and remember, when you know your why, your hows and your whats get much better.